What is going on everyone? It is Mr. Warning Hazard with another upload to this channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to reduce if not absolutely remove lag in Minecraft. Now there are three types of lag. There's frame rate lag which frame rate lag is when Minecraft is skipping frames. It's kind of stuttering when you're walking around kind of like this. See, it's just skipping frames like that. Now, the second thing is connection lag, and that's when your internet connection is too slow, but that's when you're on a server. So, how you fix connection lag is to get better internet and, like, update your modem and router to be faster and maybe even use an Ethernet cable and hook it to your computer. And the third type of lag is server lag, and that's when a server is receiving too much information that it can't handle, that everything is lagging, and how you know that is if you're in a server and people are moving around, and they're kind of stuttering around and skipping frames, and also if you place a block, and it shows up, then it disappears, and then it shows up again. Um, that's going to be server lag, and that can also be frame rate lag. But today we're going to be talking about frame rate lag, which again is skipping frames or stuttering. So I got five tips on how to remove frame rate lag from Minecraft. So the first thing, which is the number one helpful thing, is to change your in-game options. But first off, let's see how many frames we're getting. So I'm going to press F3, and if you'll see in the top left-hand corner, on the very top, it says 11 FPS. But if I start moving around, it's going to go down. 2 FPS, 3 FPS, 4. And uh, before I started recording, I was getting, getting an average of 6 FPS. So 6 FPS right now. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to press escape and go to options. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the in-game options. So first thing, video settings. Now these video settings right here are the default settings when you first download Minecraft. And they're set to as high as possible. So what you want to do is set it as low as possible, therefore Minecraft will run faster. So first off, graphics. Go ahead and turn that on fast. Smooth lighting, you want that off. 3D anaglyph, you want that off because you don't have 3D glasses. GUI scale, just put that on auto. And brightness doesn't really matter, it's just how you want it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on bright or 100%. So that way when I'm in caves, I can still see without torches. And then go ahead and put particles on decreased. Render distance you want it on tiny and then performance put on put that on max FPS basically the performance what that does is it bases that like if your computer is running is hooked up it'll use all of its power pretty much so you can get the max FPS out of it now another thing that you can do is go to your computer power options and go ahead and change that to max uh, max performance and that will also help so then view bobbing you want that off advanced OpenGL you want that on clouds off server textures off and vsync off so that's the video settings now let's go ahead and go down to snooper settings and you want allow snooper off so now press done press done again back to game so now let's see how many frames we're getting 30 frames 30 frames right now. Look how much smoother this is. 30 frames. Now this isn't even close to what all we can do. I have five steps. So that was number one. Number two is I'll show you in a second. So let's do that. Okay guys, so step two is to open Task Manager and run Java with high priority. So what you want to do is either hit Control Delete and go to start task manager and this window will open or go down here to the bottom to the task bar and right click and then click start task manager once you've done that windows task manager will open go ahead and scroll down and find java now make sure minecraft is open so once you find java j now there might be multiple javas so what what you want to do on all the javas you find and it's in alphabetical order by the way is right click on the java set priority high change priority now what that will do is it'll put all your most of your CPU 
it'll put it towards Java, and Java runs Minecraft. So now let's see how many frames we're getting. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go down here to the Start button and go ahead and go to Control Panel or type it into the search box and find Control Panel. Now, once the window opens, go up here in the Search Control Panel in the top right and type in Java, J-A-V-A. Once again, this is the application that runs Minecraft, so you're going to click on Java right here and let it load. Now, this Java Control Panel will pop up. You have General Java Security Advanced. Go ahead and click on Java. Click View. Right here in the runtime parameters, this is where we're going to type something. Now, before you type it, we have one more step. So, what you want to do is go down to Start and right click on Computer. If it's not there, just type in Computer down there. So, right click Computer Properties. Now go down here and you should find something that says RAM and installed memory RAM. I have 6 gigabytes or 5.8 gigabytes usable. Now you want to make sure that you leave at least 2 gigabytes in order for just your computer to run. So I have 6 gigabytes. Go ahead and remember that number and close out of this. Now this is when we are going to use the runtime parameter. So what you want to type in is the dash which is to the right of the zero on the numbers. Type in capital X, lowercase m, lowercase x. Now is when you use that number. Now don't type that number in yet. Um, this is what you want. If you want to use, since I have six gigabytes, I'm going to leave three just to run my computer, and then I'm also going to put three gigabytes of RAM to run Minecraft. So there is 1,024 megabytes in one gigabyte. So take 1,024 and multiply that however many gigabytes you want to use in order to run Minecraft. So 1,024 and multiply that by 3. So 1,024 times 3, that will give you 3,072. Let's make sure we've done that right. 3,072. So 3,072. Now, you don't have to type in that number. Just multiply 1,024 and multiply it by how many gigabytes of RAM you want to use. And once again, you probably need 2 gigabytes just to run your computer. So after you have dash, capital X, lowercase m, lowercase x, and then the number of megabytes that you want to use for to run Minecraft with your RAM, go ahead and press OK, press Apply, and press OK. Now after that window is closed, go ahead and exit out of control panel. Now let's see what happens when we go in game. Okay, so now that I am in game, let's go ahead and press F3 and see how many FPS we are getting. And it's stuck on 30, that's because I am recording. Now before I was recording, I was getting 92 FPS. 92, and that's only step 3. So let's go ahead and move on to step four. But before we do that, the step that we do just done, what we done is we just gave more RAM to run Minecraft. So that's how that works. So now let's go ahead and move on to step four. Okay, so step four is to use resource packs or texture packs. Now, when they updated to 1.6, they called texture packs resource packs. But they're basically the same thing except resource packs or 1.6 and above, and they can also include audio. So what you want to do in order to run Minecraft more smoothly and not have frame rate lag even more, so we're on step four, and what you want to do is go ahead and download a Minecraft texture pack or resource pack. Now make sure that resource pack or texture pack is the same version that you are running. So if you look down in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see Minecraft 1.6.2, and that is the current version that I am running. So after you have that downloaded, you want to open Minecraft, go to Options, Resource Packs, Open Resource Pack Folder, and go ahead and drag whatever you downloaded into the Resource Pack Folder. Now if it's 1.6, 5.9, not 1.6 and up, and 
so 1.5 and 9 below what you want to do is you want to open resource pack folder and go to the top and go back and then click on texture packs and then drag it into the texture packs folder not the resource pack folder so after you have that done they should show up here and what the one that you that you want to download is called simple craft so what you want to do go ahead and double click on that and go in game okay guys so before I started recording I was getting about a hundred for FPS or frames per second so that simple craft texture pack will really help now the last thing that you can do is download a mod called Optifine now in order to do this you want to make sure that you are downloading the mod with the same version that you're running and if you're in game you can go ahead and press F3 and look in the top left it says Minecraft 1.6.2 or whatever version you are running and that's what version you're running so after you have the mod downloaded go ahead and move that mod into the dot Minecraft versions folder and I made a video and there will be an annotation on the screen to click in the video as well as a link in the description in order to ha how to download mods in Minecraft 1.6 so that is how you make Minecraft sorry about that I accidentally stopped recording but that is how you make Minecraft run a lot smoother and not get frame rate lag so I want to thank you guys for watching let me know if it helps and if you guys have any more tips let me know down below if you enjoyed the video or if it helped you out please leave a like and share this post it on the Minecraft forums anything that you can do so thanks for watching and click on one of the videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet and I'll see you in the next one.